Most renewable energy sources have one, a very important drawback. This is instability and unpredictability. Yes, there are certain patterns in when the wind blows and the sun shines in certain areas, but this is not always a guaranteed result. And what would you say about the source of energy, which is accurate as a clock? Twice a day, clearly according to the schedule, it turns on and produces a large amount of electricity. And this is for many years to come. Would such stability be of interest, given its huge implications for the network and scheduling reliability? Of course, yes. Then in this issue, we will talk about the energy of the tides, especially about those projects that are now taking this industry to a new level and revealing its huge energy potential. You are on the Caro Show channel, and we are starting. Tides to the power plant can be operated using different technological solutions. One of the bottom is a conventional bladed turbine, essentially the same windmill, but lowered underwater. Therefore, it is not surprising that technologies that are beginning to be used in wind energy have also entered the young tidal energy industry. We are talking about turbines in which there is no gearbox. Such devices have fewer units, which means fewer parts that can fail. And what is important, they are cheaper to maintain and reduce the cost of generating electricity. It is on this principle that the innovative Jirlis Tidal 100 kW Unis turbine was built, which has been successfully operating near the Scottish Isles since 2020. Direct drive technology has reduced costs and losses, and the cost of electricity has been reduced by a third. The EU Strategic Energy Technology Plan for Tidal Energy has set a target of 150 euros per megawatt by 2025, and the developers of Unis have already surpassed this indicator, and with scaling, the price of a megawatt can be reduced to competitive with fossil fuels. Unis is not the only turbine from Nova Innovation. From 2015 to 2017, three classic tidal turbines with a total capacity of 300 kilowatts were installed on the same coast. It is also planned to build the second and third without gear turbines with a capacity of 200 kilowatts each. The main goal of this project is to show the prospects of an emerging market in order to strengthen investor confidence in tidal energy. This is how it will be possible to create a commercially viable industry and reliable technologies. And so far they are succeeding, but not them alone. If Unis is a very small but efficient turbine, then the AR 1500 turbine is a real giant. Its rotor has a size of 18 meters and its power is one and a half megawatts. SIMEC Atlantis Energy installed four of these turbines in the strait between the Archenian Islands and the coast of Scotland in 2018. By the way, the power of six megawatts makes it the largest tidal flow power plant in the world. The AR 1500 turbine was built by Atlantis in partnership with Lockheed Martin. The main features of the design are two innovative subsystems, Yaw Drive System, OIDS, and Variable Pitch System, VBS. In the first, special elements allow the turbine to rotate autonomously around its base so that it is always directed towards the tidal stream. In the second level, the inclination of the turbine blades is adjusted to optimize the production of electricity in the tidal flow. By the way, the installation and connection of the AR-1500 was completed at a record speed in less than 60 minutes. This was the first time that a tidal turbine was installed and instantly connected to the shore. The Majin project is one of the most ambitious in the industry. The location in the Pentland Firth, just two kilometers from the northeast edge of Scotland spans some of the United Kingdom's most powerful waters. Atlantis' goal is to deploy nearly 270 turbines to generate about 400 megawatts of power, enough to feed 175,000 homes. But while this goal is far away, there are more tangible results. In 2020, the Maiden turbine system exported over 37 gigawatt hours of clean electricity to the UK grid, breaking all records for tidal power generation.
But that is not all. Since 2019, the company has been working on the AR2000. It will be the world's largest single rotor tidal turbine. Moreover, the power of 2 megawatts is achieved not just by a proportional increase in size. The rotor will increase by only 10%, and the frame for mounting in general will remain almost the same. Atlantis engineers have focused their efforts on making the control system smarter, the structure simpler, and also reducing the balance in the generation of electricity. A number of turbine components have also been improved, especially the rotor tilt system. All this has a significant impact on reducing the cost of energy production. But why use only the energies of the ebb and flow? But what about wave energy? Therefore, the Archimedes Waveswing Wave Power Plant works on the principle. In 2019, the Scottish company AWS Ocean Energy received a grant for its development and in 2022 successfully conducted tests in the RK Islands. The average power of the test sample was 10 kilowatts, and it turned out to be 20% better than our own forecasts. Peak power 80 kilowatts. The essence of the operation of this device is that it, as it were, consists of two float chambers. The lower one is moored to the seabed, and the second one, under the pressure of passing waves, goes up and down relative to the lower one. The resulting motion is converted into electricity by means of a direct drive generator. At the same time, the location under the waves at a depth of about 25 meters allows the wave swing to avoid the destructive effects of storms. But the main feature of the project is scalability. The developers claim that their development can have a power of up to 500 kilowatts. And by creating farms of 20 blocks, you can build 10 megawatt platforms. According to European researchers, the global economic potential of tidal energy technologies is about 800 terawatt hours. Not much, but it could cover up to 10% of Europe's electricity demand by 2050. And considering that, according to the forecasts of the same experts, by 2030 the energy of the ebb and flow will be cheaper than nuclear energy and fossil fuels. This is not so bad. Therefore, we hope that the projects described by us will continue their undertakings and will push the tidal energy industry to further development and reduce the cost of both the structures themselves and the resulting kilowatts. Thank you all for watching. We hope the video was informative and interesting. The Kara Show team was with you. Bye.